Hey everybody, in the Brandenburg Sea Trials video, I did say that I was going to continue to experiment with setting up the ship, see what kind of performance I can get, and here I am trying to max out the secondaries as much as possible. So what I did is I switched the upgrade slot number one from Aiming Systems Mod 1 to Secondary Battery Mod 2, and this will improve the secondary battery firing range and its dispersion by 20% respectively. And then I've selected Henry J. Hyde as the commander and he has a hybrid mix of accuracy and secondary enhancements. So let's take a look at that. His base trait is Wrenchman Extraordinaire for increasing your ship's hit points. And for the accuracy part of the inspirations, I've got Andrew Cunningham for Concentrated Devastation, which will increase the shell grouping of your battleship's main guns. And then the second inspiration is Hipper Elbow Room, and that will increase the secondary battery firing range and improve its shell grouping. So for the skills, I have Flammable Cannon Air, which increases the main battery range and shell grouping for your battleship but it increases the chances of catching fire for any ship type. And the second skill is Porcupine, and this is the big deal with the secondary batteries, which increases the secondary battery firing range, shell grouping, and accuracy. And the third skill is Marksmanship, and increases the main battery shell grouping for any ship type, but reduces the rudder shift speed. The fourth skill is Properly Meticulous, which reduces the secondary battery shell reload time and increases the enhanced secondary targeting duration. A lot of times I would select Master Mechanic to try to maintain the health of the ship, but here, as I said, I'm looking to maximize the secondary battery performance, so that's why I've selected Properly Meticulous. And down here, I've selected Fight Fire with Fighter for the legendary skill because I think the German battleships are kind of prone to catching fire. All right, so let's see what the stats look like after all of these changes. Survivability hit points is 62,900, and that is up from 59,700, so that is what Hyde will get you is more hit points for your ship. And then the artillery, the firing range is 19 kilometers for the main guns. Reload time is 26 and a half seconds. Shell damage for the HE shells is 3,600. Armor piercing shell damage is 9,400, and that is down a little bit from Hipper, which was over 10,000. And the secondary armament, the 105 millimeter guns, have a range of 11.4 kilometers with a reload time of 2.4 seconds. The 150 millimeter secondary armament also has a range of 11.4 kilometers and the reload time is 5.4 seconds. So that is basically what the stats look like after the changes that I've made. So let's go out in a standard battle and check out the highlight. All right, we're in standard, we're in shatter. Here I'm checking out the teams. And the red team does have a Benham, a Southern Dragon, a York, Bagration, Otago, Lion, Bismarck, Georgia, and Massachusetts. It looks like there are five battleships on each team. Four battleships on the red team, five on the blue team. So we do have a decisive advantage as far as hardware goes. So generally, I haven't really played a secondary build ship in a standard match, and that is because most of the ships have such a short range for their secondary armaments that I, I see no way that it's worth it. I've even tried with the Bismarck, with uh, Ciliax, and a secondary build, and I really did not get uh, adequate results, so I just never had done that. I've tried with Hyde a little bit, and I also never really got that great of results. So I guess after the uh, Brandenburg, I'm kind of revisiting the whole thing and looking at it fresh. So now 
I'm uh, going to give it a go here, especially after the Brandenburg Secondary Challenge video that you may have seen where I took the Brandenburg in an AI match with essentially the same build and I got 788 secondary hits but it was an AI I didn't fire the main guns at all so the whole idea with the secondary build here with this go around with the Brandenburg is after I fire the main guns and they're reloading if I'm within 11.4 kilometers the secondary should be going to town on any red team targets that are within range and here is a southern dragon I waited so long to see how the match is going to shape up and there the southern dragon ends in my lap and I would imagine that this guy is going holy cow this is not good at all and he probably knows that he is going to get wiped out here and I did hit the secondary booster and the secondaries are just really going to town on this guy I hit the southern dragon with two citadel hits with the main guns but the secondaries look like they are going to do the rest here and that uh, ship is being whittled down to basically nothing and only two main gun hits but 42 secondary hits and there is the first destruction of the match close quarters expert metal and that was a destruction with the secondary gun so already the secondary build is paying dividends here in the Brandenburg with Hyde. I suppose if you don't have Hyde, you could probably give it a shot with Ciliax, but Hyde really does give you the accuracy that is afforded with Hipper, which is the accuracy battleship commander for the Germans. So Hyde really does uh, combine both of those skills, the basic skills of Ciliax and Hipper. So if you ever see Hyde, available in the store during one of the events and you're a big German battleship uh, player it is definitely a buy recommendation to go ahead and get Hyde. I am certainly glad that um, I made the investment but here I'm going at full speed here and I'm trying to get into the mix and see if I could um, engage some of the red team there you see we do have a decisive advantage in score. The red team has lost three ships and they're down 560 points for the blue team and 140 points for the red team. So it looks like we are easily going to win this match. We've got two of the bases captured so far. The only base that is not captured by the blue team is B. So there is a Bismarck trying to... Uh, move away and I took a shot at him. I tried to do the best I could at that uh, sort of a bad angle. Any angle, angle that's not a broadside I feel is a bad angle. And we still got at least one hit there. We're up to 44,000 in damage. And two Citadel hits on that poor Southern Dragon. Kind of feel sorry for that guy. That player. And took another shot at the Bismarck we're closing in as fast as possible the idea here is to get within range and let the secondary guns continue to do their to do their thing so there's a Massachusetts up there it looks like he's just sitting no he's moving around a little bit but he is at a little bit of an angle so I'm going to do my best estimation of where I think the rounds are going to end up here we are capturing B and those rounds actually do look pretty good and there are three hits we're up to 50,000 damage we're spotted by a red team airplane but we have almost captured B so that is looking pretty good there is an Otago and here you can see I'm marching into at least three red team ships here And I did capture B uh, along with uh, at least one of my other teammates. There is a shot at the York. And I'm looking to see if I can get a shot on the Otago. And that was a Citadel hit on the York. So three Citadel hits against cruisers so far in this match. 
And this Massachusetts looks very inviting with this broadside that he's giving us. But it looks like he is angled away a little bit. And that was a terrible job at estimating where the aim should be on that shot against Massachusetts. But there will be another shot coming up here in about six seconds. So we are almost within secondary range. You can see we're 11.8 kilometers, 11.9, 11.3, 11.1 over there on that battleship on the left hand side. And the secondaries are going already on the Georgia. And as soon as the secondaries start going on the other side, I do hit the booster. So we've got secondaries going on both sides. We're engaging ships on both sides of the Brandenburg here. And there was an immediate fire that I put out. And we do get some fires here with the secondaries. And so now I'm turning to give the Georgia a shot with the rear guns. The Georgia looks like he is in pretty big trouble. And we are hammering both of these ships with uh, at least the Georgia here with the secondaries. I guess we've turned and we're not engaging the ship on the right side. But there we took out the Georgia with another close quarters expert metal with the secondary so the secondary build here is definitely working out in this match and here's this York that should be easy pickings but that was a bad shot I should have aimed a little bit farther ahead and now I'm being targeted by quite a few of the red team but we are so far ahead 826 points to 195 we've captured all the bases so uh, I'm going in here with abandon, reckless abandon, and just trying to see how much damage I could get. Because I'm figuring the match is won anyway. Up to 91,000 damage. 164 secondary hits. Three citadels, two destroyed ships. And secondaries are still going again on both sides. So they do have me on fire though. I have two fires going. Right, well they do get me. I was going in there with Reckless Abandon because we had such a huge lead. All right, well the battle's ended. We have reached maximum points. And all right, 351,000 credits, 104,000 damage, 38 main target hits, two destroyed ships, Three Citadel hits, they were against cruisers. We did get a few fires, some defended and assisted and captured flags, 218 secondary target hits, and two close quarters medals. That is, uh, that is a pretty good result with a secondary build, I think. Let's see how we did on a team result. 5,000 XP, I was running some boosters here, some battle boosters. And first place overall, not a bad go around into Brandenburg with the secondary build. And let's look at the economy tab, 203,000 credits by the time it was all said and done. All in all, a great match. Well, that's it for the secondary build on to Brandenburg with Hyde as the commander. Overall, I think it was a pretty good result. You see the secondaries are really effective once you do get the 11 kilometer range and Hyde does maintain the accuracy of the accuracy build commanders. This is the Jaguar and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.